Tonight, new developments in the aftermath of a toxic train derailment in East Palestine. Eight days after the fiery crash, the full scope of the disaster is still being realized as neighbors slowly return home. There are new concerns tonight about contaminated drinking water. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Lena Lai. Tonight, here is what we know. A contracting group for Nor Norfolk Southern is going door to door identifying homes with with at risk drinking water wells. The worry is that the vinyl chloride that was released into the air is now leaching into the ground and impacting well water. It was also a day of cleanup today for many neighbors within ground zero of the derailment. The Salvation Army brought in truckloads of cleaning supplies to help. And next weekend, a community wide feast will be held in East Palestine to honor the first responders and firefighters who helped the town through the train disaster. And tonight we are hearing firsthand from the crews who were on the ground from the minute that train derailment happened. The East Palestine Fire Department and others no doubt saved lives with their quick actions. Our Emma Henderson joins us now with a look at how the disaster is still having an impact on them. Emma. Lena, the flames may be out, but the consequences of chemicals being spilled and released into the atmosphere are becoming more clear. In this case, impacting the small town's fire gear. East Palestine Fire Department was on the front lines battling the flames once the train derailed, and because of that, they're now seeing the physical and financial toll it took on their gear. Fire Chief Keith Drabick has already had to place an order tallying several hundred thousand dollars to make sure his crews have safe, new breathing apparatus. Add on top the rest of the inventory they continue to do, and it's still unclear just how much that final total will be. The hose, our gear, our breathing apparatuses, our apparatuses in general, um, pretty much everything that we have, uh, we're checking with manufacturers on just for the safety of my people. Now, coming up at 11, we'll take a deeper look into the issues the fire department faces, as well as concerns from businesses that had to close in East Palestine. All right, Emma, we'll check back with you at 11. Thanks so much.